Hey everyone, we are less than three minutes away from game or summer game fest from starting. I'm pretty excited for this. Um, I'm excited because um, if you guys watched the predictions video, there's really not much that it says like we'll probably get God of War. There are reports that apparently God of War Ragnarok got delayed to 2023. Uh, we'll see. We'll probably hear about God of War Ragnarok. Um, I think it was like a few hours before this event started. Uh. The Last of Us Remastered, which I think is fucking ridiculous. That game's not even 10 years old yet. Uh, got leaked out. So, like, well, fuck. And Jeff Keighley kind of, like, sent a, well, you know, the shrugging shoulders emoji in response. And I was like, well, I hope I hope that wasn't his, like, oh, here's our last thing, you know, big thing. That better not have been because I feel like more people will have been disappointed that way. So, I hope they have something better planned for their end if that was the case. But... We'll see. Um, so yeah, I think that's ridiculous. Um, what else? We got God of War Ragnarok. Uh, maybe something... Like I said, Soul Hackers 2. A lot of people are hoping for uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, we're going to see Ca God, uh, Ca uh, Call of Duty. We're going to see um, Cuphead stuff. Some Street Fighter 6 stuff. So we're going to see some stuff that we already know is coming. But I'm more so excited about the stuff that we don't know is coming. So yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy stuff, I don't know. Like I said, I think we're only going to see maybe an extension of 16's trailer. Um, I, I also forget about Forspoken, so maybe we'll see some Forspoken. Elden Ring DLC, maybe. That'd be interesting. Um, yeah, other than that, I really don't have anything too big. So I'm all, I'm all ready. I'm all set. I've got my... I've got a strawberry smoothie with me, because... Yeah, um... Well, good. Um, so yeah, here we go. We're less than a minute away. Um, let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna go on Twitter. Cause I know there's some other people that are like, or something. Sorry, I got like a piece of ice in my. Not the ice didn't blend properly all the way through. Some of it didn't. Yeah. Um, but there were some things on here where I was like, oh yeah, I believe. Cool thing to show, but but yeah, there's a lot of things. All right, here we go. We got ten seconds left. Let's. Let's watch what you know. The better, the best thing they can do is just start off with the Last of Us remaster or whatever. That's that's the best thing they need to do. Um, that's the best thing that they can do is just start off with the Last of Us remaster thing. That's the best thing they can do. Is like, well, this happened, so here you go. And here we go. Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff Keeley, and this is Summer Game Fest. Okay, I was about to say, the music kind of drawing you out there, what's next Jeff. In the wide, wide world of video games, we are live here in Los Angeles. So whether you're streaming from home or watching inside an IMAX theater, welcome to our showcase event. Over the next few hours, we'll give you updates on the games you love, be joined by special developer guests, and yes, have a few surprises along the way, too. Now, what I love about this show is oh, it's a true you said a few hours, though. Showcase. I can only roughly go for two hours because I got work, PC, so let's see. PlayStation, Switch, or mobile will have games for you. It doesn't matter your platform of choice. We're all here to come together as one community that simply loves the art of amazing video games. The biggest franchises in the industry are here yeah. Call of Duty. You'll get introduced to exciting new worlds and new teams, and we'll make room for small independent developers who we think deserve the spotlight too. Come on, Silk right, Song. Hopefully you'll discover a few new games to put on your wish list. And even if you don't get every announcement that you desire, let's face it, you're not going to get everything today, but we've got a lot of great stuff. So let's get started. Over 30 years ago, Capcom ah, Street, Street Fighter 6, Fighter here we go. Arcades, and ever since, I don't know, I, I, like, Japanese I've never been a big game, uh, fi a fighting game Street person, Fighter but, like, Street Fighter has always been, like, it's always Street Fighter and right uh, Mortal now, Kombat has always been, like, my main two. Yeah, Tekken, I'd say, would be up there, too, and then, of course, you know, I have fighters, first gameplay footage. but, um, and, of course, you know, I have, a. Uh, 
the Persona ones as well, but I'm, uh, I don't know, but, uh, Street Fighter 6 looks pretty interesting to me. I probably, I don't know, I don't want to say I'll definitely get it, but it's one where I would think about possibly getting, so. You will know what hits you. America's Hero is back. Let's get this mission started. Yeah, there he is, Gully! Or Julie, or Gully, I can't, I don't pronounce names properly. Guile, it's Guile, Guile. It's Guile. Because Guile's theme goes with everything. Does that Travis Willingham voice in him? Counter! Just on another level. Now I don't think that was a uh, shot for him, but there's Guile. So yeah, they like had a whole lot of leak for Street Fighter Six. Not a whole lot, but like they kind of like leaked some of the uh, roster. So, oh well. It's all about the comb. All right. Next, it's time for a brand new game announcement here at Summer Game Fest. Here we go. Check this out. Brand new game. That's what I'm. That's what I'm excited for. Brand new game. Okay. Pantalus Base, year twenty one ninety eight. Sergeant Leo Alvarez of the CM Leth Recon Squad. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus Base, locate the Comsat relay, and bring it back online. We found. Uh, I don't think this is the Callisto Protocol. But there was a problem. He said new game, so. Ray didn't make it. The least is a one piece. Willis, take the lead. Some kind of like predator. Predator or alien game? Oh, this ain't good. What we found was a new kind of evil, and it found us first. What the? This was a human. Yep, alien. It's alien. I knew it. I was like, I was just gonna. Like, is this gonna be an alien or a predator type thing? And yep, yes it is. I always wanted to get into like alien isolation. Oh. I don't know what I saw in there. But I know when I close my eyes, I still see it. Now everyone's dead. And someone needs to know. Ooh. Aliens. Dark Descent. Nice. Oh, uh, oh, ooh. Okay. 2023. It looks like a um, looks like an al uh, alien isolation type game. I can't remember what those are called, but not that bad. Was but aliens, dark descent, and it's coming in 2023 to console and PC. Next, two years ago at the Game Awards, we revealed the Callisto Protocol from the creative forces behind the Dead Space franchise. Today, I am thrilled to get to show you the first raw gameplay alongside its creator, Glenn Schofield. But first, here's the quote-unquote Schofield cut of the brand new trailer with a little more gore. Oh boy, more gore. Yeah, Callisto Protocol. I'm actually very excited for this. I kind of like forgot about it too when they revealed this. Like, oh, that's cool. Like, Dead Space people. 
And you can see that's definitely a dead spacey, so. Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the dead moon? Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance. And just rebirth. trying to give you a chance. I'm definitely gonna play this game. I don't know if it'll be a series or anything, but it looks cool. every time. The day one edition digital deluxe yep december 2nd very interested in it very interested in it let's see some That's gameplay right. we know what you wanted to see what a call all right let's watch this all right very very generic which is totally fine you know this seems like this seems like this is definitely within the first hour i say maybe with even in the third for 30 minutes That game in development. Is it also is it coming out for other gens too, or is it just first gen or uh, current gen stuff? Yo, that's like the star of the mutations. Ugh. Oh, I did love that you could that he kicked the body just slightly and you saw it move. So yeah, that's cool. What the hell? I think they mentioned like the new kind of like that kind of gun in the thing, so oh, and I didn't get like a baton type thing too. No splicer from the dead space, but it's still pretty cool. Or not splicer, it's just called a cutter, right? Yeah, stomping, baby! Callisto credits. Oh, and there's your suit. You got the suit eventually. Do I do love that like the health indicator thing like Dead Space you know had on the spine and this game seems to have it like on the back of the on like on the neck there so that's pretty cool. Oh god. Oh there you go. There's our little. There's the cutter. There's our cutter like weapon. This shit kinda looks like this it kinda looks like Oh god. Wow. Ooh. 
Oh my God. That was some gnarly. That just happened. All right, moving on. This Death. October, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 arrives. Infinity War. All right, I'm probably going to skip all this stuff because I'm not that interested in Call, Call of Duty. So sorry about, about that, everyone. World premiere of its game. Yep, that was That's sure was Call about. of Duty. And joining us now. That's up from what Long it was. Beach, Johanna, great to see you. How's That's everybody? what it was. Great. Thanks. Uh, great to have you. Um, all right, well, we've got lots more Summer Game Fest still to go, and now it's time to announce a classic PC gaming franchise is coming back with a sequel over 30 years after its first release. I love Classic this PC game, when game? I was growing up, so I'm honored to share this very first look. Okay, finally we're done with got uh Call of Duty. What is this? 30 years later. Oh, is this um Oh fuck, what is it called? Um Return of Iconic Franchise. This is fucking uh fuck. I mean, I'm not even, like, I'm not even third yet, so I don't even know. The fight. Continues. Flashback two. Okay, yep, nope. I don't know. But that's cool for people. And it's coming out for everything else, so winter 2022, okay. Hey, I'm happy for everyone that All right, let's turn enjoys back it. Time. Back in 2017, we announced Witchfire at the Game Awards. Almost five years later, I am so excited that the team at the Astronauts in Poland has put together an in-depth look at the gameplay of this dark fantasy first-person shooter, which will enter early access soon. I am so excited to play this. Fire? I bet you will be too after you see this. All right, it's another first person shooter type ish game. But maybe it would be a little more interesting than Call of Duty for me. Ah, it reminds me somewhat of Shadows of. It's like a first person Shadows of the Dam in a way. Okay. Got somewhat like a. Supernatural thing along with gunplay, which is. I'm okay with that. I don't mind first person shooter games. Like, I don't mind first person shooter games at all, but it's like, eh. No HUD though, there's no HUD, but then again, most, I don't think, I think most first person shooter games really don't have HUDs. Which fire? Early access soon. Wish list now. So it's on uh, Epic Store only. Okay. Wah, wah. Okay, next up comes an ambitious new game from a new independent studio in Europe starring some very familiar names. Enjoy this world premiere new game announcement. Okay, I'm 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 all for the world premiere of game announcements. Officer Fallen Leaf. 29. Today, um, I can't believe Black what I saw. Black Stranker. Solace. Everything okay in there? Wow, okay, this looks very good for an indie game. I mean, that's what Eterna N Nights is as well as an indie game, and that looks great as well, so. Indie games have come a long way. Pounch. Something is going on here. And I need to 
find out what it is. Fort Solace. Roger Clark, Troy Baker, Julia Brown. Ah, wish list on Steam. That's something brand new, and look who it is. All righty. Troy and Roger in person. Guys, uh, this is so fun, the fact that you're working on a game together. What a cool team up uh welcome to the show uh you know this would be I a good time guys, too after uh, this be like uh, speaking of troy baker well, you're uh, here let's uh, even though it's already got Wayne leaked Taylor let's show everyone the uh last of us part uh, one remaster which and, uh, is stupid because it's, it's not even 10 years old yet we'll discover and uncover but yeah through the game and of course Mike. it's time to world premiere a very exciting new game which will feature a musical score by industry legend mick gordon this one is going to grab you, and we are so honored to debut it. Okay, another world premiere. What's what's the hip happens with the musical score? Oh, fucking fish! I think I'm tripping here. What's with all these space games that have like dead space? I mean, like Troy Baker even said their game's like somewhat with dead space. We got the Callisto Protocol, and this game now seems like dead spacey. Oh lordy! Oof. Routine. Alrighty. PC and Xbox, okay. Doesn't that look great? That was Routine coming to Xbox and PC. It was first announced a decade ago and is now officially back. I can't wait. To it was see announced it. a decade now ago. Now it's time to check in with a very special guest who has been in his fair share of video games, including most recently Fortnite as the foundation Dwayne Johnson, hey. welcome to Summer Game Fest. How are you? What's up, everybody? And what's up, Jeff? And what is up to the Summer Game Fest audiences? Live this seems right like this was pre-recorded. You cannot world. convince me otherwise. Everybody inside the epic IMAX theaters. Dwayne Johnson here coming at you from my iron paradise, the very hot and sweaty and smelly iron paradise yeah this was 100 percent pre-recorded you cannot convince me otherwise oh yeah that 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 troy baker game that was the 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 indie game i was thinking about like there's a oh oh what's coming soon for the switch okay we've got splatoon 3 here's our direct guys we got monster hunter rise Cuphead and Delicious Course. Well, there we go. They just had, they just released the Delicious Course it's coming out on June 30th. Was that? I. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Super excited for that. And there's our Nintendo Direct. Fall, guys. Alrighty. All right, back to another new game announcement. We're hey. going to announce a brand new game and universe from a new team of legendary developers. Check this out. New game, you new universe, alrighty. Frost Giant. Okay. Oh, Aurora, Aurora Borealis. Discovery, this is command. Storm's in your way. Prepare for extraction. Signal's breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. Over. Hmm? Why does that look... Okay, never mind. I was about to say that someone looks like the portal cube. Not cube, but sphere. 
Spartans. Now we're talking. Command, I may be on to something. How that interact with the projection? Diablo. Hang tight, Doc. I've got this. Titanfall. Here's Titanfall three. Nah, it's a new game, new universe, so it's not Titanfall. Gate. Alrighty. For 2023 beta. Now it's time for another indie game announcement that I'm excited to share with you. High Water. Check this one out. High Wire. Another indie game. Okay. I'm on with that. High Water Dwellers, High Water Pirate Radio, keeping you in the know with our flow. Ooh, I, I, I kind of like this art style in a way. Looks like a uh, pencil. Planning to evacuate to Mars. True or not, the one thing we can't deny is that the world ended on a sunny day. The world ended on a sunny day. Boys and girls surfing in the bay. Kids clamor in the park. No one suspected the coming dark. The wave was coming, but the sky was clear. I let it city. Pretty cool. Third world organic. Drone we got there and some hazmat suit. Ended on a sunny day. Boys and girls surfing in the bay. Oh, high water. I thought it was high wa wire. I thought he said, eh, coming this year. Not bad. Definitely got an indie feel to it, which is not bad. What a breathtaking trailer. High water is an adventure strategy game set in a world ravaged by extreme climate change. All right, Speaking adventure strategy. That's us, always interesting. The conflict in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind, and it's impacted the development of games, including Replaced from Sad Cat Studios, a Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus and Ukraine. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today, but were understandably unable to complete it in time. Guys, I just want to say we're thinking of you and all the developers impacted by the conflict. All right. You'll be able to share your work at a future show. All right, our next game is an official selection of the Tribeca Games Festival. It's American, American Arcadia. Arcadia, where you play Trevor, whose life is being televised with the viewing population constantly voting you up or down. When you become unpopular, you need to start running for your life. Check this out. Oh, shit. All right, this seems very interesting. I like that. I like that. Let's see this. Out of the blue. Picture a city where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream to build the city of tomorrow. That dream is now a reality. And that city is 
Arcadia. A 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. American Arcadia. Control, subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Okay. Listen to me. We can't allow Trevor Hills to escape under any circumstances. Trevor. Trevor, can you hear me? Be careful and don't make a sound. Don't worry. Oh. I'm going to get you out of there. Ooh, okay. I that seems very interesting. That seems very interesting. America Arcadia. Apparently we've made it to the beach. Next up is a sequel we've all been anticipating for a long time. There's trouble in paradise, and watch out. You don't want to get bitten. After many years of rumors, we finally get an update on this much anticipated sequel. What is it? Beyond Good and Evil 2? Ah. Eh? Huh? Anybody coffee staying north? I don't think it's good and evil too. Um. Me okay, I have no idea what this is. Some kind of what is this? Oh, it's Goat Simulator 2. <laughs> oh my god. That's kind of hilarious. Okay. All right, Goat Simulator 2. My goat simulator or three. I guess there was already a two. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, I mean, there the you have it. That was thing. Goat Simulator 3, and it's coming later this year to the Epic Games Store. Now, last year, Marvel and 2K announced Marvel. Oh, yeah, Midnight, Midnight Suns. Suns, a tactical RPG from Firaxis Games, the studio behind XCOM and Civilizations. Heroes from the Avengers and X-Men cross over with supernatural ones like Blade and Ghost Rider for a battle against Lilith, the mother of demons. Today, we've got a look at some new folks set to join the battle. Alrighty. Just muting the music, uh, muting the thing again, because that is straight up, ma um, that's straight up Metallica right there. I have Goat Simulator 1 for free for PlayStation Plus, so should play that someone. Venom! Alrighty. Spider-Man. Ooh. Oh, is that your little uncle? Hey, Miles, too, I think. Or is this just Spider-Man? Or is this Peter Parker Spider-Man? There's a Ghost Rider. I think it was just Peter Parker.
It's a lot of cool suits. Yep, yeah, there's Master of Puppets. Ah, there's Scarlet Witch. Big Venom. Hulk. October 7th. Doctor Strange. Nice. Ah. I might get that. Yeah, I think that's Yuri Lowenthal. Hey, Cuphead. Cup, Cuphead. We're moving on to the wonderful world of Cuphead, the delicious last course. And you, can you believe it? We're only a couple weeks away from playing the delicious last course, DLC. You see how they did that for Cuphead? Joining me now is Maya Maldenhauer from Studio MDHR. Oh, so all, delicious Maya, last course, really DLC. Ha, 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 ha. June 30th on all major platforms. We are thrilled. Well, I'm so thrilled, too, that uh, I think all the fans can't believe that this is here. And I've been... Lucky enough to play this actually on my Steam Deck uh, last week, and you guys gave me a copy. This, I, I can't. People are not. I want to get into Cuphead, but maybe I'll wait for the DLC. Maybe I'll have like a hey, you can get the game in the DLC you've thing. Up, obviously, the gameplay. All righty, here we go. June thirtieth is when that comes out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I guess it was already revealed to be coming out. Friend, there's a uh, Miss Chalice. Ooh, this is an interesting stage. Grab your hands. Man, who's ever playing this is a master at Cuphead. Knockout! I now do like the, even more like Cuphead, Cuphead does look does cool it. to me. Tomorrow we will show you an exclusive look at season two of the Cuphead show when I co-host Netflix's Geek Week, which will hey season two. That's cool. I need to watch the uh, first it season. It at 10 a.m. about Neon White, a game where you play an assassin from hell who slays demons for the chance to ascend. To heaven. Oh, is this the... Um, is that that card game? Yeah, yep, yep. Okay, it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. It does look interesting, but I don't know if I'd play it, though. I guess it's coming for the Switch as well. We're called Neons. Sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. Oh, God, that's... um. It's hard to believe we're in heaven. Oh, fuck, I can't. But it's it, it, Higashiki in, uh, in Judgment. Can't got ten days here. You pick the name out. You, mission from old Mikey. you think you can win me over by showering me with gifts? Uh, good thinking. Now, or oh, June sixteenth. Okay, yeah, pretty much. That's like next week. All right, that's cool. It is next week. We've shown you lots of games today made by huge teams. Now it's time for a game made by a single father in Poland. Over the past year, he's brought on some help to bring his vision for a fast-paced action game, Midnight Fight Express, to life. Let's take a look. Well, he brought it up that it's not being made by him by one single person now, is it? I'm kidding. You and I fight saying, Express. Okay. Knock down, get up again, that whole spiel. Well, it's time, partner. Time to rise up. Together. Mm -hmm. 
Pretty interesting. It's happening. The big guy's oh, fat joker. While I sat at his side, see lives as dollar signs. I had the stink of corruption all over me. And you know who put it there? Nah, not Reminds anymore. me a little bit of Game Beats in a way. Well, I ain't wearing it anymore. And neither are you. Tonight, we washed this whole damn city down. Oh, my lord. From the co of Destiny 2. Not bad. Turn on August. Such a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Steam, and will be part of the Steam Next Fest next week. I really want more playable games to get in the hands of you guys at home, and that's oh, Warframe. Right. Joining me now is Megan from Digital Extremes to talk all things Warframe. All right, Megan, how you doing? Sorry, I'm not so good. Too My interested. Canadian. I know. That was. Next, it's time oh. for a new look at Honkai Star Rail, an upcoming open Star Rail, space okay. RPG. Yeah, a lot of space today from Genshin Impact Studio, Hoyaverse, across mobile and PC. This studio oh, continues mm, to deliver. Mm, never mind. This new trailer reveals mobile and PC and uh, basically Genshin in space. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, it looks cool, but eh. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here. None of that matters. In the near future, you will encounter many perils. In the near future, you will have microgen's actions. You will treat you like family and embark on unimaginable adventures. I mean, like I said, I mean, it looks good, but Genshin looks good as well. And like I said, this looks like Genshin in space. Remember what you feel in this moment. I mean, he did say it's made by the same as people who made Genshin in back, so. Yeah, when's uh, Genshin coming for the Switch? The hey, well, Shredder's Revenge, nice. TMNT Shredder's Revenge, which reminds us all of the Turtles arcade games back in the day. Well, it's nearing the end of development, and the team wanted to use SGF as a way to reveal one exciting aspect of the game they've been keeping under wraps until now. All right. What's that? Hey, there we go. Get to play as good old Casey Jones. <laughs> Daisy Jones. Oh, I remember those things from some of the TMNT games. Those guys were a pain in the ass to fight those little chopper dudes. This game looks really fun and very interesting to me. I don't know if I'd pick it up, though, because it seems more like a fun game to play with friends and such. Six player mode, yeesh. Six player modes with seven characters. Damn. Someone's always gonna be left out then. June 16th, yep, next week. One Piece is Oh, okay, its One Piece Odyssey, okay. This year. And Bandai Namco is bringing the mega popular franchise back to video games with One Piece Odyssey. Monkey to Luffy and his crew of pirates are off on their next adventure. This trailer reveals the I might play this game, even though I haven't where been keeping up with One Piece since crew become marooned in this God forever JRPG. The Straw Hat Pirates journeying along the Grand Line. Mirror, 
の島でけえ塔がいっぱい立ってる空に伸びてるあの光はなんだよし面白そうだ行ってみようちょっと待ってるし変な形の積乱雲がすごい速度で増えてるこいつはノックアップストリームだーなんだありゃおい落ちるぞ Who the bastard? Hey, Frankie. N Nami. Chopper. Bones? Oh, Brock. Brock. Usopp. Robin. Good old Zoro. Sanji! Kicking lightning. Or oh, kicking eyes, I guess. And of course, you got Monkey D. Luffy. Yeah, I think I stopped watching One Piece when they got, like, a few episodes after、uh, they got Chopper. With new I wonder if this will be an English voiced or just、And、Japanese the voice. Not that it l l be bad either way, I'm sure. Ooh, yeah. In an odyssey beyond imagination. One Piece Odyssey. Kokova. It's coming out this year, okay. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to This August, Soul Hackers 2 from Atlas launches. Hey, Soul Hackers! Listen to the English voice cast with this quick new look. This is the first time I've heard English voice acting, so. That's cool. Ringo. <laughs> I've actually been playing the 3DS first one again, or the first time, so. Take my hand. You get one more chance to make things right. That sounds like Erica h a r t l i k e r but. It's hard to tell, there's not really much. Oh, yeah, here's the first look. With so many new games featured across SGF events, you might be. It's like, here's the first look at the English voice acting.、Dream. Didn't get anything. Can help you find the smartest. Okay, Capcom. What you got? Ooh. Is this Alex the Kid? Oh, is this like an arcade thing? Yeah, Arcade Stadium, too. Okay, that's pretty cool. I、uh, saw a couple Mega Mans in there, some Street Fighter.、Um, that's very cool.、Uh, here's Mario Strikers. You're gonna get hit with the unexpected in Mario Strikers Battle League. In this no holds barred soccer ish sport, I mean, this game's、Chaos、literally coming out tomorrow. So、do they really need to show more? Victory. So much fun, it hurts. Hi, Mario、yeah. Strikers Battle League. Only on Nintendo Switch. Game rated everyone 10 and up. Premiere. Hi. My name is Carl, and I'm a developer on Metal Hellsinger. You know how in some games where the music's really good, you feel compelled to move and shoot? Oh, yeah, this, this game.、Um, the in Metal, Trivium, the Trivium's a, the、uh, they announced this during the Game Awards, and,、uh, the and the lead singer for Trivium was in there. That's awesome. I'm a artist like Serge Tankian from System of a Down, so while headbanging isn't mandatory, we do recommend it. Our demo is live now on Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation platforms, so go check it out. Oh, it's, it's a demo? I might check it out. <laughs> okay, there we are. But yeah, no, I, this seems very interesting. I mean, eh. 
I mean, it's very interesting in the case that, you know, the music acts aspect of it. I don't know if I'd be a big fan of the gameplay myself. Yeah, Matt Heffy! There it is, Matt Heffy! Yeah, you got some good uh, metal metal people in here. I mean, the fact that it's like it's um, God, it's it's one of those games where you got like attack to the beat. That's actually pretty cool in a way. Although it's probably be a pain in the ass to like stream or send a a video, uh, make a video out of September fifteenth. Okay. That one was Metal Helsinger coming later this year from Funcom, a rhythm shooter with metal music. And right now, as I mentioned, a demo has launched on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation for you to play for free. Next up, a new game launches tomorrow. The Quarry from Supermassive Games. Oh, yeah, The this Quarry. This successor to Until Dawn stars David Arquette and an all-star cast. It's getting great reviews, and this is one of those binge-worthy teen horror entertainment experiences. I'm actually very excited for The Quarry. I'm actually very excited to check that game out tomorrow. Lives and who dies at a camp in upstate New York. Here's the first look at the launch trailer. Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. Okay. And what's the point of that? David Arquette, yep, and this is... What? There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like that what? Burn the song? Kidnapping, murder, cover-ups. I think the whole Hackett family is in on it. You have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Not a goddamn clue. All right, let's do this. This is just begun. Oh, Lordy. I actually really liked uh, Until Dawn, and you know, this being the success, for, the success of it. We gotta get out. I want, is that Brenda Son, or is that the same person who played. Um... Oh, is that Ariel Winter? Story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. This is gonna get a little messy. Hey, that was David Arquette. Yep, I can't wait to check Them's that out. Rules, you noob. Got pre-ordered everything. Bloober team is known for psychological horror games like oh. Blair Witch and The Medium. Today, they are ready to reveal their latest creation, made completely in Unreal Engine 5, for a visceral horror experience. It's a return to the world of Layers of Fears. Get a dose of this. Layers of Fear 3, right? I think there was a second one. Okay, that's Someone interesting. Said insanity runs in our family. Let it run. Yeah, Layers of Fear 3, okay. That's not, that's not bad, that's pretty decently cool. I watched someone play the first one. I don't know if I've seen them play the second one either or not. Or is this the second one? Again, I don't. I can't remember if Layers of. I think Layers of. I think there was a Layers of Fear 3, so. Or 2, I mean. So this would be Layers of Fear 3. So it's, it's Layers of 3 or. It's a lie. This is a story of my fear. And hatred of the horror of my loneliness. And it is mine to tell. Now I see it. All this misery. All this suffering. There was no other way. Shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. 
I mean, yeah, Unreal Engine 5. I don't know how the first one or first two. Again, I, I can't remember if, this, if there was a second one or not, but this does look really interesting. And it looks really good, too. I wonder what we come out this year. I was trapped in this house, bound by this body. Now, I break free. Oh, it's just called Layers of Fears. Okay. Oh, shit. Did I say 2023? I think this said 2023. And it's only coming for five and this series. This October goth. Yeah, because this takes place after. I don't know if this takes place as, like, the. Arkham games, but um, Gotham Knights, and now it is like after Bruce is oh, dead. So is. Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog, uh, co-president oh. of Naughty Dog. Here we uh, go. Here's the Last Neil. of Us Part a, uh, One. An eventful day on the internet for Naughty Dog fans, I mean, and uh, I think we jinxed ourselves. We were joking about it last night, like watch the ass assets will leak, and yes. lo and behold. That's what happened. Well, the good news is there's some stuff that hasn't leaked that we have lots to share with people about uh, all things at Naughty Dog. But first of all, it is a, you know, it's a big month actually for Last of Us fans because uh, Last of Us 1 and 2 both launched in June and it's nearing its two-year anniversary for Last of Us uh, Part 2, which is, is hard to hard to believe. And it's only been yeah, nine years crazy. since the uh, first uh, game, uh, so why the fuck are you making a remake? Two years for Last of Us. All veterans of Uncharted so it's a standalone multiplayer a with the main story, game. which... I'm probably not going to pick up because I've never been big into multiplayer type games okay, like that. Well, very exciting the game, and this is yeah, we are remaking a game that's not even ten years old. But, uh, Fucking idiots! The definitive version of the, the first game that wasn't encumbered by any technology. Uh, wanted to find a way to get even closer to our original vision, uh, and we're able to do it on the PS5 and PC. And instead of talking about it, let's look at it. All right, let's take a look at the Last of Us Part One. Yay, here's the freaking trailer of the game that everyone's already known about. So why'd you leave Boston? Uh, again, I'm saying this right now. This bar I mean, we still got like 10 minutes left. This bar this should not be the last thing. If this is the last thing, it's going to be a big disappointment for two reasons. One, it was already leaked, so we already knew what was happening. Two, why is this remake happening? It should not be happening. I guess the good news is like, hey, it incorporates all of the DLC stuff in it, which is fine for... You know, people didn't play uh, la uh, Left Never Behind and such, but I think the remastered already did that as well. So it's the outside. It, okay. So is that everything you hoped for? Yeah, it looks a little bit better, but does, is it really is it a necessary thing though? I don't think so. I think this is the most unnecessary remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it. Hell, it's just a graphical. Like I do not believe. I do not believe. This, this where is it? It's gonna show the, or maybe they've already did. It's like from the ground, built from, built from the ground up for PlayStation 5. I do not believe that 100% at all. That was no way. This was like, oh yeah, we're rebuilding this from the ground. Hell no, you are not. You took the assets for the PlayStation 4 version of the game and made it shinier. You did not rebuild this. That that part of the trailer is a fucking lie. And there it is. It's coming out September 2nd, so... Truly one of my favorite games of the past decade. Guys, yeah, what's your reaction to that? Yeah, it's a good game, uh, seen that yet. but yeah, does not need a... Time. Fuck... Oh, my God. Uh, Literally, just make a... F it doesn't need to be a free upgrade. Be like, hey, if you have the remastered PS4 version... Yeah. You didn't go back in. I mean, you use the original performances. Yeah, right? actually, we, we came up with a process where you could take the original uh, animation that we did for the faces and kind of, like, retarget it on these new rigs that have a lot more fidelity... And then the animators went back and We're studied. We're side by sides here, just how much it has changed. Okay. You went and you re Yeah, okay, but again, is it necessary? Okay, I'm glad they're showing this, but again, is it necessary? I don't think so. The great thing about these faces is that um, they're closer to the original performance. All the animators went and studied those videos and got it. I still don't think it was necessary, but sure, whatever. God, and please don't let this be the last thing. Talk about, like, Seriously, do not AI. let this be the last thing. It'll be a is, major is fucking done. disappointment um, if this is. Just uh, the fidelity. Of All right, well, that is going to do it. Thanks oh, to Naughty Dog and fuck for off. Our special, uh, look at The Last of Us and the entire franchise and where things are going. Um, very, very excited about that. All right, Summer Game Fest continues over the next few days. Coming up right now on this very stream is Day of the Dez with I Am 8-Bit. Uh, okay. At the planet all planet. right and then the devolver digital show so here's my thoughts um 
not it wasn't terrible they showed stuff um but yeah it was unnecessary I, like i said not that great and yeah my expectations were low but holy shit did they really have to so sh share this thing last because holy fuck that was unnecessary uh, what can I really say? What else? Um, I mean, they showed some cool stuff, but a lot of the stuff I'm probably not gonna, you know, um, oh, I'm just not interested in, like, majority of the stuff that they showed. Like, uh, again, probably the biggest thing that I liked was the America Arcadia thing. I think that was the biggest thing that I liked. Um... And of course, Marvel's Midnight Sun looks interesting. Uh, Goat Simulator is pretty cool. And then you got One Piece Odyssey, which I'm somewhat interested in as well. But yeah, expectations definitely... Yeah, you know, I'm glad Jeff Keighley said it, keep your expectations low because holy shit. But yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, my next uh, reaction theme will be uh, for the Xbox uh, Bethesda Showcase on Sunday. So I'll keep it there. So thank you all again. And what were your guys' favorite theme? Uh, let me know. All right. I, again, I... Like... The Last of Us theme was literally got leaked. They should have started with that and picked something else for it to be last. I don't know what else there was really. To be honest, nothing big here was, I guess, on the level of what The Last of Us was going to be for. But still, a bit of a disappointment. But again, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't that great either. So, alrighty, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys um, for Xbox on Sunday. Alright, guys. Later.